I've been seeing a lot of comments where people are saying they're getting a NABU or they ordered a NABU. And I just responded to a comment where I thought to myself, geez, I should tell people um, how I'm connecting this thing so that when you get it, you can at least start replicating what I'm doing or hopefully I'll have this server online soon and we can start downloading programs. That's my next step once we get the origin file. But anyway, um, the adapter that I'm using is a RS-422. I'm gonna put the link to the Amazon product. Now I'm from Canada, so it's gonna be the .ca. You'll have to uh, change it or do a search in your own country for, for the model number. But this one, I know uh, we at work, we do a lot of servo motors that are industrial and they use RS-485 protocol, which is very similar to RS-422. So this type of, uh, or this unit itself is very reliable. We're actually having some pretty good success with it. Um, oh. Took it out. I got another color ready to for you to see. And look how fast it loads now. So it's compiling, boom, bam. Nice new color, whatever color that is. So um, let's see here. This is the one that I'll put in the description that I'm using. Okay. And there is a manual that it comes with. So it's pretty basic to set up, but I'm going to show you here in my folder of documents. I think it's this one here. Yeah, here we go. Um, this is the printer. There we go. This is the HCCA interface. So what you're going to want to do is look at that with your eyeballs right now. Absorb it. Take all that information in. Yes because that's pretty much all you have to do. Um, the manual says, boom, 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 boom. Get rid of some of the glare. It's bright in here, right? Yeah, look at that. So you're gonna get your own manual when you buy one, right? So you don't have to worry about me focusing on this too much. But yeah, this looks like T. Yeah, so it is just like a UART. So transmit to receive, transmit to receive. The only reason why I'm checking this is you're probably thinking, man, does this guy know anything about electronics? Because Transmit and receive should connect to each other. Do you know how many <laughs> of these and RS-232 to your adapters we've gone through where uh, people or companies have labeled them the receive and transmit, not because it's receive and transmit on this side, but it's because they expect you to hook up your receive and transmit on the, on the uh, other, on your client, on your other host. Like, it's just, it's funny. So anyway, I always have to, I always have to check this. And uh, yeah, so transmit to receive. Receive the transmit. Make sure your minuses are connected together, your pluses are connected together, and boom, off you go. Oh, and the connector is is a uh, five pin in connector. Okay, so make sure you get that as well. I don't think I need to make a video on how to create one, but if I do, if somebody wants me to, um, I can create a, a quick video on how to do it. Now the next step, though, as well, I'm gonna mention this as my goal of the project was to have. Um, an ESP32 connected to the NABU and connect to the internet and then provide you with a menu and then you'd be able to select your, your files over, uh, over the internet. So for the first iterations until we get things up and running, this program will be distributed and I'll compile it with, uh, with Mono as well as um, in Windows, so people can, we can run it in Linux on Raspberry Pis as well as on on Windows if they want, and it'll make it will make it a little prettier and a little easier to use. But I'll host the actual um, files online, and then you'll be able to select the files and then download them and upload them right to the NABU. So hopefully this answers uh, any questions and gets people prepared. So make sure this is the one that you order if you want to start using your NABU and changing colors like this. Look how fancy that is. Okay, we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.